Hey guys, Wolfboy1106 back on the House of Horrors original channel. All the videos are gone, but I'm happy that we have the channel called the House of Horror. Today on the House of Horror, I decided to review probably one of the most disturbing movies I've ever seen, Cannibal Holocaust. I'm sure you've all seen this movie, and I will talk about it, but let's get down to business and open this box up. Now, this isn't a numbered one, because those are all out of print, but I wanted to show you guys, see, this isn't numbered, which sucks, but, you know. So, I will show you the back. Very nice, no number, grindhouse releasing. I will slide it out carefully, so you don't see the nudity. It comes with this outstanding poster, a booklet, and holy but Jesus, I cannot show this poster. And then we have this cover, and yes, I can show the impalement, just not the nudity. Once again, show the gore, but not the disgusting nudity on here. We have real one and real two, totally awesome. We have on the back here a naked corpse, sorry YouTube, but it's a corpse, there's not even skin on it. Yeah, so this is a great, you know, set to get if you like Cannibal Holocaust. I'll show you the poster. You can see it like this. But, yeah. I don't get it, YouTube. I mean, I don't want to make a hate video about YouTube, but... You guys are cool with the violence, but not the nudity. But anyway. Yeah, that's the two-disc. Cannibal Holocaust, 25th anniversary. The film begins with some early 80s businessmen walking down the streets to show a movie. But little did they know what was featured in the film. Here's a summary of the cannibal's acting performances in the film. <laughs> And because of this acting, you should be able to tell that this is fake. But when this film came out, uh, apparently the director got arrested. So apparently the movie was banned in its country, and that's just ridiculous. They thought the impalement in this, well, they thought the scene in this where the stick goes up the lady's butt and through her mouth was real. It didn't show it happening, it just showed her on it. So they considered it a snuff film and banned it from uh, Italy. So this convinced me to listen to the commentary and see how the director actually pulled off such a realistic effect. This is what I heard. Hey, uh, I'm going to put uh, the bicycle seat and uh, they, uh, she, uh, she put the, the stick in the mouth and did a... It's a joke, guys. I'm Italian, I think. Let's get back on track with the story, apart from my racism. So these business people are watching the movie on the projector and it's like 16 millimeter, which is, you know, everyone knows that's my favorite kind of film, just the color in general. And... The rest of the movie's in 35, but the homemade stuff, the stuff that looks homemade, is 16. Um, uh, they basically freak out and say, this is ridiculous and there's no way we're distributing this film. But one of the guys actually enjoys it. And that's basically the whole movie. You know, watching the film, seeing them, you know, killing cannibals, getting killed by cannibals and seeing cannibals do naughty things to each other. But before you see this film, I must warn you, it is disturbing. I'm thinking that this isn't the type of movie that PETA would support. Just something about it. And guys, if there's one way to buy Cannibal Holocaust, it would be from Grindhouse Releasing. You do not have to get this mega jumbo set, but it has to be from Grindhouse Releasing, otherwise I wouldn't trust it. And this deluxe edition comes with tons of great special features and stuff, so... Yeah, I'd check this one out. It's 30 bucks at the Grindhouse Releasing website. So, yeah, I'd check this one out. 
So yeah, guys, thank you for watching and subscribing to the House of Horror. Let's keep this going successfully because we're back on track now, and I hope things get even better. So yes, keep subscribing, keep watching, keep rating, and keep commenting because it's not really a reason. Just do it!